I tried all these free drawing apps so you don't have to. So MetaBank is a little bit annoying because as soon as you open it, it's like, hey, there's an ad, hey, log in and stuff. Oh, you need to log in. I'm like, no, 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 no. I think the one major thing that's in favor of MetaBank is that it's a lot more intuitive than Krita. If you're the kind of person who gets kind of overwhelmed by like really, really complicated software, you don't want to figure out too many features, I think MetaBank might be a better fit than Krita. Like Krita, I think it has a lot of really fantastic brushes, especially inspired by Japanese manga pens, right? We have the G pen, we've got the mapping pen, we got the Kabura pen, we got turnip pen, school pen, drawing pen, we got so many pens here. And a bunch of cool pastel and paint brushes as well. It's also a lot more lightweight than Krita. If you have like a weaker PC, Metabang might work better because it probably consumes less resources. Metabang does not have liquify. It has a mesh transform, which is kinda almost the same, but it's not the same. So it doesn't have liquify. It has layers, layer modes, lasso tool transform, pressure sensitivity, color pick, color wheel, everything works as expected. But I think where it really shines is that it is very easy to pick up and just start using. Maybe I'm being nice, but MetaBang's really, really good. The only thing bringing it down is the fact that you log in and it has ads and it's slightly annoying, but it's free. What do you expect? I'm also gonna give this S. Fire Alpaca is the same as MetaBang as far as I'm concerned. If you want slightly more brush selection, choose MetaBang. If you don't want to deal with the login screens and all the pop-ups, use Fire Alpaca. That simple.